supporting your team is critically important right now. But what does it really mean to support the team? What are the different things that you need to consider? And what are the different perspectives and, 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 and approaches to use and to consider? This is a framework here, this triangle that I'm going to explain to you in a second that I use with my clients um, to help them understand how to best support their team. In this triangle, this triangle has three lines, right? So there's three pillars. The first one is information. So this is all about which information needs to go to whom, when, how to document information, how to um, set up specific information flows to support your team right now um, to give them the why and the what that they need to know. The second one is expectations. Any expectations, agreements, goals, um, you know, checking in on feedback, all that has to do with expectations. There's a lot that goes into the into this. And if you, by the way, want to know more about all this, then check out the training that I'm linking to to this post for a full uh, outline of what each of these three, three components entails. But this is expectations. And then the third pillar when it comes to supporting your team has to do with availability. This is availability of your time. So your availability, your presence with the team how often are you meeting them? When are you meeting them? What for are you meeting them? And what is it that, um, how are you, how do you need to show up to best support the team with your, with your actual presence and attention? So these are the three pillars of supporting your team and doing so effectively during a time of lots of change and uncertainty, uh, anxiety, worry, fear, difficult conversations, possibly difficult news. Um, news that needs to be shared and so on. This is really important right now. You want to know the three pillars of support to your team and what this actually entails in your day to day, how to share the information, um, how to set expectations and what expectations to set and how to be available uh, through what channel, when and um and so forth. If you want to know more about all this, when I lay out all the different aspects that go into this, then check out the training that I'm linking to uh, up in or down below in the in the comment section to this post. I'd love to see you there. And if you have any questions or want additional support through this crisis to help you show up as the leader that your team needs right now, then let's connect um, and let's talk to see how I can best support you during this time. Be well and stay safe.